coming on guys mark in the coral room today on mark's aquatics now i was just looking through my tanks here with i'll just spin you around with my little clownfish in there he is he's growing i put him back in here he wasn't happy in the other little nano tank there's a little bit too much flow for him so i decided to put him back in here and uh, he settled in lovely again but while i was in here now if you look at that finger coral there if you look you get my tongs if you look right about there, you can see quite a white piece there. Now then, I, I looked on there, now I thought for a while that there was some kind of little polyps growing down there. And um, so I didn't think anything of it. You get all sorts of different things growing on live rock, as you know. And um, little sponges, little yellow sponges, different things like that growing. And I just thought it was one of those for a while. But then I looked again and they had moved and I thought, well, that's a bit unusual so I fished them out and I've never ever seen these types of sea slugs before but look at those guys now I caught them in the act of laying eggs and as you can see there's a little ribbon of eggs there still coming out from that orange one now there's an orange one and a creamy colored one there with these little gills around the outside which looks, oh, absolutely amazing. I've said, I've never seen this species before. If you know what this species is, stick it in the comment section below. Have I discovered a new species of nudibranch sea slug? I don't know, but I can't, I haven't come across one. I've now, I've had a, I've had a brief look just before and I've never seen anything like that. And I haven't seen anything in the books either, but they're absolutely amazing. Look at that. I'll try and get you a little bit of a closer up view. But you can see they've got that lovely stripy pattern in the middle there, going out to those little gills on the outside. You can see them slowly moving around there, but you can see the eggs they're depositing there as they're going along, you see? And there was one live rock which I, underneath that, sorry, underneath where that finger coral was. Um, which was absolutely covered in them. So I've removed that that finger coral out and I've just given it a quick dip and a toothbrush in and I've got rid of all the eggs. They were laying them in one patch. Um, so I didn't know what they're in there. Obviously they're, they're coral munchers and I don't want those in my, in my system. So uh, I've taken them out, but look at that. I'm gonna to have to find a home for these guys now. Don't know where I'm gonna put them, but I wouldn't wanna just kill them for no reason at all. I'll have to set up a little tank maybe just for them and put little bits of stuff in there for them to eat. Okay guys, I've just let them alone for five minutes just so they separate so you get a little bit more of a, a better view of them apart. That little guy there is still laying, little girl I should say, or maybe they're asexual, they can do all that carry on together um, or on their own. Yes, look at that, absolutely amazing. Just split them up a little bit there so you can see see them a little bit more clear look at that nudibranchs which means naked gill just like the axolotls you see the axolotls gills stuck out the side like that slightly different but uh, very very interesting nevertheless anyway guys very short video today just on four minutes but I'd like you guys to do some homework for me in your lo local neck of the woods, wherever you are, to see if you can ID these guys, okay? Stick it in the comment section below. I would be greatly, I'd greatly appreciate that. And if you're not subbed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for up and coming videos, and you won't miss any that way. Anyway, as always, you're all stars. Love your loads. Do some homework for me, please. And let me know what these little guys are. Bye for now.